So today, you know, <clears throat> you go online and I don't know if it's because a lot of people are new buying these uh, bat systems or bats, but um, like Masonite gets a pretty like rough rap as far as reviews goes. And I think it's because a lot of people don't really understand how to use them. So I thought I'd go over um, kind of back care, um, how to use bats in general. Because I think a lot of people just think you just slap it on the wheel, you know, go for it, and it's supposed to stay unwarped. Um, whenever I, I hear someone talk about bats warping after a while, I just I cringe a little bit because there is a um, a way to use bats um, that might not be really intuitive. So I thought I'd go over that. Um, <clears throat> so I use uh, a bat system. You can uh, get it on Amazon. It's called uh, Bleaker Station. And it's this, uh, it's an MDF bat um, that takes little masonite, um, masonite squares, look a little bit like this, you know, just a thin, a quarter inch. Um, a lot of people, you know, they say, oh, the bats warp and all that. Of course, you know, they're made out of... <laughs> They're made out of sawdust, so they're going to warp. <clears throat> but the, the trick is to um, deal with the warping um, appropriately. So, first off, what I do, because since these are two different thicknesses, so it's it's like a, a recessed area here and then a thicker outer part, um, this main bat, it'll it'll develop like a, a cone shape kind of where the center dries faster so it pulls up <clears throat> what I do um, to mitigate that um, I think Zyme Shime? I don't know Z or X I E M uh, that brand they make something called a Batmate but what I just use is this um, it's like a shelf liner, sticky shelf liner um, from the dollar store. And I just cut a round piece um, with little holes for where the bat pins go. Um, this stops um, that very slight warp that this develops over time. Um, it stops it from getting to the point where the whole thing is rocking on you. So I start with that, put it down, and then for any wood or absorbent, semi-absorbent um, bats, what you really need is to get the bottom wet before you start. So I don't know if you've noticed this, when I do videos I always get either the bat head wet first and then put a bat down, um, you know, just some liberal amount of water there and then put the bat down on the bat pins. What this does is allows the bottom to absorb water first. And it happens quickly, so <clears throat> I do that maybe a minute before I start and uh, then I'll start um, when I get going on the bat system I'll get this inner bat area wet first and that does a couple things. First I guess the bottom of these wet. So the same exact thing happens. So get that in there. The bottom gets wet. It starts absorbing moisture and it actually pushes this tight into the square here. And then you get the top wet. And the top's going to get wet while you're throwing anyway, but you want it to be at least a little bit moist before you start. And then I just scrape a lot of that moisture off before I toss something on there. Um, this keeps these true. It keeps the uh, main big bat true. So just a lot of moisture. And then when you're done, when you dry these things, <clears throat> you 
you dry them on edge like this, whether it's this these little bats, you can see behind me here, there's a, well maybe you can't, but there's a stack here of bats and they're all up on their end. That's how you need to store these because if you store them flat, um, especially if you stack them on top of each other, the middle's going to stay wet and then they're going to bend up. So the bat system, that's how it goes. For these regular masonite bats, I do the same thing. I don't use a um, bat mate or the sticky shelving stuff. Doesn't need it. As long as you get the wheel head wet first, then put your bat on. The bottom will absorb moisture and push out and then you'll be uh, nice and steady on the wheel head. Um, if you do run into a situation where you leave a pot on it too long it's wet or um, you accidentally stack a couple um, vertically um, what you can do is what I usually do is <clears throat> I get them all soaking wet in a, in a big tub all my warped ones that are like kinda like twisted warped um, which can happen if you uh, leave them wet for too long like if you put them outdoors or um, stack them on top of each other sometimes they can twist um, just get them all soaking wet just leave them in a tub for like a couple hours and then take them all out stack them vertically one on top of each other and then put like a kiln shelf that's what I use a kiln shelf and then a box of clay on top of it and just leave it like that for like a whole day <clears throat> that'll flatten them completely out um, don't let them dry before you use them so do that when you have a throwing session coming up you can um, just use them all then and then if if you leave your pot, I like to leave my pots on until they pop off if you do that then they'll all kind of warp in the predictable way which is dome up and then the next time you use them, you use them with the dome up, put water underneath them, and then they will flatten back out. And uh, yeah, that's um, kind of the masonite bat issue. Um, there's no way of getting around, they're going to warp. You just want them to warp predictably, and then you want them to act the way that they should, which is when they get wet, they swell, and then they flatten out. So. Yeah, that's masonite bats. Um, <clears throat> don't go on Amazon, buy like a bunch of masonite bats, and then give them a bad review because they warped. They do need to be used correctly, right? Um, plastic bats. I've got um, I've got a handful of them. Uh, they're kind of under a bunch of stuff there, but. Plastic bats, you can't fix the warp, so um, I don't recommend any plastic bats. They uh, they suffer from the same problem. They absorb water, even though they're plastic. Um, and then if they dry out, they warp. So um, I've tried stacking them and or soaking them and stacking them and putting weight on top of them. It doesn't fix them. So once you have a warped plastic bat, it's I mean, either deal with uh, throwing on a wobble or throw them away. Um, for that reason, I recommend masonite, the MDF bats, um, any of the like wood sawdust based bats, um, because at least if they warp, you can fix them. So, yeah. thanks for watching.